A Noonan, Georgia police officer calls in a license plate of a vehicle he's never seen before. It appears to be like a Toyota Celica, maybe. When he pulls the driver over, the officer smells marijuana and asks 37-year-old Robert Stovall to get out of the car. I do have a small personal Okay. Yeah, I smoke for recreation. Brad Moody is Stovall's attorney. He was very forthcoming and that it was just a tiny amount of marijuana. The officers were very clear on that. It's a tiny little bit, like two oh, nuggets. Okay. I thought it was more than that. No, and he was nice as could be about it. Oh, yeah. According to the incident report, the officer found 1.5 grams worth of weed in Stovall's car, a misdemeanor crime. This morning's calendar. The Quitty County Solicitor's Office recommended a $1,300 fine, a year of probation, and community service. All right. During Stovall's day in court, Moody then asked Coweta County Judge Say Van Patten Palacos that Stovall couldn't afford the fine, and accepting the solicitor's plea deal would have set his client up for failure. Stovall is homeless, jobless, and at that point, his car broken down. So putting him on probation is just asking for them to revoke him. Moody asked Judge Palacos for jail time instead. The judge agreed, but shocked Moody and Stovall with the sentence. 12 months in jail, the maximum the law allows for possession of less than an ounce of weed, about the weight of a few Cheerios. So we're talking about a couple of Cheerios of marijuana, and they're, they're wanting to put this guy in, in jail, lock him in a steel cage for 12 months because he possessed something that grows naturally. That's why they call it weed. You don't have to do anything to it. It just grows. The, did the judge say why so long? Only that we asked for a jail sentence, so that's what she was going to give him. The only reason Mr. Stovall was sentenced to 12 months in jail is because he's poor. While Coweta County and most of rural Georgia can still sentence defendants of misdemeanor marijuana possession of up to a year in jail, a growing number of Georgia cities have decriminalized the crime, essentially making it a civil penalty. About a half a dozen cities in Georgia so far, Atlanta's fine is $75. But here we are, 45 minutes outside of the city in Coweta County, and what he would have just had to pay a fine in Atlanta for, he now gets 12 months in the county jail. The marijuana issue. Or Judge Palacos uh, declined an on-camera interview, but over the phone told 11 Alive she stands by her sentence, citing Stovall's three prior marijuana possession arrests. Only one of these offenses has been within the past decade. A few days after 11 Alive reached out to Judge Palacos, according to this court transcript, she called Moody to say she was contacted by a reporter and then suggested multiple times Moody file a motion for reconsideration rather than posting stuff on social media. No, no, this a month later, Stovall got a new hearing and Judge Palacos changed the jail sentence. I will amend the sentence as follows. It's 12 months in jail. You get 57 days jail time served. I'll suspend the rest of the jail time upon the condition that you complete a drug and alcohol evaluation. The judge changed Stovall's original 12-month sentence to 57 days time served in jail. And the day after Independence Day, we were there when Stovall got his freedom back. How you feeling? Like a new man. Yeah. Definitely, definitely glad. Um, very thankful. Stovall knows he broke the law, expected repercussions, but believes the judge abused her authority. If we didn't call the judge, where do you think you'd be? Still in there, definitely, no doubt. No doubt, I'd still be there. Without y'all's intervention, this wouldn't have happened. Stovall's biggest frustration isn't with the judge, but that traffic stop. According to the video, the officer pulled Stovall over for a broken tag light. That was not the case. Um, on the film, you could see my tag lights operating. Um, I felt like I could see my tag lights operating. I know my tag lights were not out. When the officer gets out of his patrol car, he walks right past the tag light and never cites Stovall for it either. There was nothing in particular about myself that should have drawn the attention of any law enforcement, um, but it did, you know, and- Because? I, my age group and my demographic, you know. Being a black man. Black, yeah, 
I'm a black man in the South. I mean, really, let's call it like it is, you know. And 11 Live investigator Andy Prati joins us now. And Andy, as an attorney, I've got to ask the first question. Was there any attempt to get the case tossed because there was no legal reason to pull him over in the first place? So the attorney did try, but the solicitor and the judge believed the officer at the time he saw the license plate, believed that it had no tag light. All right, now, how about taking the deal? It was a deal for probation. Why not just take that deal? The attorney said it would have set his client up for failure. He had no job, he was poor, his car was broken down, so he couldn't even make his probation appointments. Taking that deal would have set him up for failure. All right, Andy Prodding, great job. Really appreciate it. Thanks.